Now I am going to talk about my paragraph that I wrote. In the reading, the general affect because there were marginalized people who only live a world that was imaginary. However, this happened when telling a, st a story because there were people in the novel who only live in a world created by them. But Mirabai lived far from reality because she thought that the best salvation for people was dance. So that caused a stir because at the same time as creating a talk, people could think negatively things at that time people used to be religious since there are people who think that dance were inappropriate because while a person dance and make a strange movements that was what happens in Mirabal's novel in general, the history began with a meaning and ended without a strong response because there was no clear explanation of what the character was like. everyone I'll be explaining my paragraph about the similarities and difference says across the three genres as everyone can see that Mirabai's characters stay consistent through all three of these genres why because she expressed her love and devotion for Krishna in the dance the graphic novel and in poetry The only difference is that the dance, they use children instead of mirror herself. Um, the graphic novel, though it was told in third person, it still give you an insight of mirror's feeling, especially towards Krishna. The visual art and recent aspect combined allows reader to resonate with her more because they can see the event characters and settings the poetry on the other hand it offers a more inside of our inner thoughts because she wrote this it's a first person and it doesn't have a consistent timeline to follow so if you was to read if you was to watch a dance or read the poetry without reading a graphic novel, it's like you will kind of be confused, if you get what I'm saying. And you will have questions like, if you watch a dance first, you're going to be like, who offered her the poison? Like, you won't know it's her, it's her in-laws that did this to her. So you would have questions like, who offered the poison? Why is her family angered her for worshipping Krishna? Because these answers aren't written clearly. In the poetry, nor you won't know it by watching the dance first. Also, the genres influence how characters portrayed through visual representation, like the graphic novel and the play especially. It is easiest for observers to understand the character and development of the plot storyline because they can see everything in front of them. Depending on a person, a genre like poetry can be more helpful because they might understand 
best true interpretation of metaphors to help them know what's going on. Through a poem, for example, writing can influence a character to some more emotional, romantic, vocal, soft-spoken, and maybe submissive. Through a graphic novel, the character may appear to be strong or stronger than they truly are because they can because they are drawn can enhance aspect of their personality and through a dance or play this influence on a character can be the most clarifying and realistic <laughs> Hello everyone, well, certainly Mirva is one of those beautiful and mystical stories that regardless the type of storytelling, it will be giving us amazing lessons. However, not everybody can understand and be amazed by a certain type of storytelling. Some people need to experience stories in a different way. For instance, in ancient times, tales as Maravai, among others, were transmitted orally from a wise man or woman to their disciples. Now, most people prefer digital storytelling because it uses last generation technology to assure everyone understand the message clear and concise. On the other hand, oral storytelling was responsible for the creation of legends and myths due to the fact that it was transmitted from one person to another one directly. Well, digital storytelling uses different methods to reach a much bigger audience, obviously, such as video recordings, podcasts, video books, uh, audiobooks, radio, etc. Now, Oral storytelling was not the only one method of transmission used before. Written storytelling also was a, a good method to reach a bigger audience. But just those who were privileged could read those books or letters. Uh, thank you so much for listening. A graphic novel is a book made up of comics content. Graphic novels can vividly express the content of the story. Miller's narrative is better described in graphic novels because graphic novels contain text and pictures, which make it easy for readers to understand the content of the story. Sometimes it is difficult for readers to understand the structure and plot of the story with just some text. I think the biggest advantage of graphic novels is that they use limited chapters to describe everything they want to express as much as possible. It is really abstract to tell stories in the form of poetry and dance. Although poetry is a literary form, it needs to use aesthetics and rhythmic language qualities. If you just read out the prose in general, you can fully express the real scene effects. The expression of dance is the most difficult because dancing requires a lot of customs and backgrounds to solve.